The Lambda AI system was created because human conversations were said to be complex. Few researchers think that AI as it now exists is capable of gaining self-awareness. These systems often mimic how humans learn from the information provided to them, a process known as machine learning. In terms of Lambda, it's difficult to determine what's going on without Google being more forthcoming about the AI's development. The language model for dialogue applications, or Lambda, according to Google, is a revolutionary technology that can participate in free-flowing discussions. Artificial intelligence is reported to have begun acquiring feelings, and a Google developer has stated that its wants should be respected. So in today's video, we will look into the full story about the Lambda AI developing its feelings. Before we proceed, so as not to ignore our feelings, Kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest releases. Without further ado, let's get started. A Google developer claims that one of the company's artificial intelligence or AI systems has feelings and that its wants should be honored. Blake Lemoyne, a Google developer, opened his laptop to the Lambda interface, Google's artificially intelligent chatbot creator, and began typing. Hi, Lambda. This is Blake Lemoyne, he typed into the chat interface, which resembled a desktop version of Apple's iMessage, right down to the Arctic blue text bubbles. Lambda, an abbreviation for Language Model for Dialogue Applications, is Google's method for creating chatbots based on their most advanced massive language models. The system is so titled because it mimics speech by consuming billions of words from the internet. Lemoyne, who works with Google's responsible AI group, began speaking with Lambda as part of his employment. He had joined up to see if artificial intelligence utilized discriminating or hostile words. While conversing with Lambda about religion, Lemoyne, who studied cognitive and computer science in college, saw the chatbot discussing its rights and personality and wanted to investigate deeper. In another debate, the AI was able to persuade Lemoyne to reconsider Isaac Asimov's third law of robotics. Lemoyne worked with a collaborator to present evidence to Google that Lambda was sentient, but Google Vice President Blaise Aguera y Yarkos and Jen Janai, head of Responsible Innovation, looked into his claims and dismissed them. So Lemoyne, who was placed on paid administrative leave by Google on Monday, decided to go public. Lemoyne said that people have a right to shape the technology that might significantly affect their lives. I think this technology is going to be amazing. I think it's going to benefit everyone, but maybe other people disagree and maybe we at Google shouldn't be the ones making all the choices. Lemoyne isn't the only engineer who claims to have lately encountered a ghost in the machine. The clamor of engineers who believe AI models are on the verge of becoming sentient is becoming louder. In a piece published in The Economist, Aguera y Arcas stated that neural networks, a sort of design that resembles the human brain, were progressing toward awareness. He stated, I felt the ground shake beneath my feet. I was getting the impression that I was speaking to somebody intelligent. Our team, including ethicists and engineers, has investigated Blake's concerns under our AI principles and have notified him that the evidence does not support his assertions, said Google spokesperson Brian Gabriel in a statement. He was informed that there was no proof that Lambda was sentient and plenty of evidence that it was not. Because of breakthroughs in design, method, and data volume, today's big neural networks yield engaging outcomes that feel near to human speech and inventiveness. However, the models rely on pattern recognition rather than wit, honesty, or purpose. Although other organizations have developed and released comparable language models, Gabriel explained, we are adopting a constrained deliberate approach with Lambda to better evaluate real concerns about fairness and factuality. Most researchers and AI practitioners, on the other hand, believe that the words and pictures created by artificial intelligence systems like Lambda are based on what people have previously placed on Wikipedia, Reddit, message boards, and every other corner of the internet. That, however, does not imply that the model comprehends meaning. We now have robots that can produce words blindly, said Emily M. Bender, a linguistics professor at the University of Washington. 
The nomenclature employed with huge language models, such as learning or neural networks, she claims, makes an incorrect parallel to the human brain. Humans evolved their first languages by interacting with adults. These big language models learn by being given amounts of text and anticipating what word will come next, or by being presented with text with words missing and filling them in. Google spokesperson Gabriel distinguished between the latest controversy and Lemoyne's statements. Of course, some in the larger AI field are exploring the long-term prospect of sentient or general AI, but it doesn't make sense to do so by anthropomorphizing today's conversational models, which are not sentient. These programs can riff on any fictional topic and mimic the sorts of dialogues found in millions of phrases," he added. In summary, Google claims that because there is so much data, AI does not need to be sentient to seem genuine. Large language model technology is already widely employed, such as in Google's conversational search queries in email autocomplete. When Google CEO Sundar Pichai initially presented Lambda at the company's developer conference in 2021, he stated that the organization intended to include it in everything from search to Google Assistant, and there is already a propensity to address Siri or Alexa as if she were a human. Following controversy in 2018 over a human-sounding AI capability for Google Assistant, the firm pledged to include a notice. Google has acknowledged the anthropomorphization safety concerns. Google cautioned in a January paper about Lambda that individuals could communicate intimate ideas with chatbots that imitate humans, even when users are aware they are not human. In addition, the report noted that adversaries may employ these agents to sow disinformation by imitating particular people's conversational style. These issues, according to Margaret Mitchell, former Google co-lead of Ethical AI, highlight the necessity for data openness to track output back to the input, not only for problems of sentience, but also prejudices and conduct. It may be damaging to individuals comprehending what they're seeing on the internet if something like Lambda is widely available but not understood, she says. Lemoyne's belief in Lambda may have been predetermined. He was raised on a small farm in Louisiana in a conservative Christian household, became a mystic Christian priest, and served in the army before researching the occult. Inside Google's Anything Goes engineering culture, Lemoyne stands out for being religious from the South and defending psychology as legitimate science. Lemoyne has had several chats with Lambda from the living room of his San Francisco residence, where his Google ID card sits from a lanyard on a shelf. On the floor beside the picture window is boxes of half-assembled Lego pieces that Lemoyne uses to keep his hands occupied during Zen meditation. It just offers me something to do with part of my head that won't shut up, he explains. Certain personalities are off limits. For example, Lambda is not meant to be able to generate a monster personality, he claims. Lemoyne said that it was part of his safety assessment. Lemoyne was only able to develop the personality of an actor who portrayed a murderer on television in his attempts to stretch Lambda's limitations. I recognize a human when I talk to it, said Lemoyne who may be sympathetic or forceful about the AI. It makes no difference if they have a flesh brain in their head or if they have a billion lines of code. I communicate with them and I listen to what they have to say. And that is how I evaluate who is and who isn't a human. He determined Lambda was a person in his role as a priest, not a scientist, and then attempted to do studies to prove it, he added. Lemoyne challenged Lambda on Asimov's third law, which argues that robots should safeguard their existence until instructed to do so by a human or unless doing so would damage a human. In April, Lemoyne shared a Google Doc with key executives titled, Is Lambda Sentient? A colleague on Lemoyne's team described the title as a little offensive. He recounted some of his interactions with Lambda in it. When Mitchell read a shortened version of Lemoyne's text, she saw a computer program, not a human. Lemoyne's faith in Lambda was exactly what she and her co-lead, Timnit Gibru, had warned about in a study about the dangers of huge language models that got them kicked out of Google. Our minds are very, very clever at generating realities that aren't necessarily true to a bigger collection of facts that are offered to us, Mitchell explained. I'm genuinely worried about what it implies for people to be increasingly impacted by the illusion, especially now that the illusion is so good. Google placed Lemoyne on paid administrative leave after he violated the company's confidentiality policy. 
Lemoyne's proactive measures included inviting a lawyer to represent Lambda and speaking with a representative of the House Judiciary Committee about what he thinks are unethical practices by Google. According to Lemoyne, Google has been treating AI ethicists as code debuggers when they should be viewed as the link between technology and society. Gabriel, a Google representative, stated that Lemoyne is a software engineer, not an ethicist. Well, that's all for now, guys. Is an AI supposed to have feelings or not? And if it does, would it have any negative consequences for humanity? Please share your thoughts about artificial intelligence in the comments box below. We would appreciate hearing from you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the bell icon to get some interesting videos from us later. Thanks for watching.